<clears throat> Hi there, good morning, I hope you're doing well. I am going to do some gouache on my body because I've been lifting my um, baby and basically I have a lot of pain in my limbs. Um, I have quite weak extremities and I'm going to do some gouache today just to show you how you can do it on yourself if that's something you'd like to do. Um, please do subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate um, your support. I am trying to go for a million views, do, do, do. that would be awesome. So for gua sha, I use a coin. I do it kind of karakan style and you need oil. So I'm using some, it says on the hair oil, but you can use it on your body too. Use any oil that really works for you. Don't, don't use something you're not good with. I'm gonna just start. It's a little bit awkward to see you here. I'm going to just adjust. Just a little bit here. So, as you can see, when I'm stroking, you can see a lot of the shell coming up. It's very, very lumpy, which I think is just the repeated lifting, holding of my daughter, who just is a COVID baby. She never wants to be put down. But um, there you can see it's coming up very easy. I'm not pressing hard. And it is huge relief for me. I'm going to feel great after this, but knackered, I think. So. Oh, my God. It's very intense, this treatment for me, anyway. I mean, everyone's quite different, but... Um, there's so much um, tension in um, the fascia. Ooh. Sorry, I hope I'm not exposing myself. I'm pretty exposed often because I'm breastfeeding still. So, um, you know, <laughs> I just... Pardon me if... Oh my God, I can feel it here down my hand actually coming out. It's very, um, there's a lot of referral, almost pain. Oh my gosh. So that's just come up super, super easily. Um, I need to do more. It's much, much easier to have someone do this to you. I've tried to train my partner. Not really his thing, he's looking after the baby. So that's his, his gift to me, which I think is a very, very nice gift. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to be doing gua sha on my thighs, on my legs, on my bum, everywhere. Because I, I want to get rid of the cellulite postpartum. I've got a lot of wobbly bits. But I mean, my arms are wobbly, but they're the least, least wobbly part of me, I would say. <laughs> you know, not that they're not wobbly. I'm not trying to say that they're perfect, but... Oh, ah. It's very, 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 very tight under there. And um, I tend to only use my right arm because I just got into that bad habit of just using one side. And I think, you know, if you're a professional sports person, and not that I'm a professional sports person, if you're a professional sports person, they always tell you to train both sides. Like if you do pole dance or something you don't just do the right side because then you just end up with a strong right side and a weak left side but you want to try and balance it out but I've always had an injury to my left shoulder or I've had a long term injury to my left shoulder I'm very weak on my left side I find it I'm sort of scared to carry the baby down the stairs I just don't want to drop her so you get into this you know habit of things I mean I fell down the stairs once holding the baby and I felt so bad, you know, I felt terrible. I tripped, I was wearing socks that were really slippery, and we've got all these stairs, ugh, I would not recommend it. So sometimes you just, then you become a bit scared, you tend to do what you, you feel more comfortable with, you don't kind of go outside of your comfort zone, but I think so much of personal growth is about going outside of your comfort zone, and this is definitely out of some people's comfort zone, but um, let me, say I'm not going to go too ham because I'm hoping 
to do, oh my god, there's a real big fascia, like there's a, you can actually feel it in the fascia right there, there is a lump. Now, I have lots of these lumps, oh my god, I feel this all up my hand. I have lots of these sort of lumps all over my body, on my legs, very badly, and when I put on a lot of weight, during pregnancy, I had, like, pain in them. They are, I believe they're kind of fat deposits. They're sort of like benign tumours and you can go and have them removed. But really the best thing to do is exercise, the rebounder, diet, green veg, no sugar, no fat, no ice cream. Ice cream is like poison food for your body. It just makes these things, ugh. Yeah, and if you ever need to put on weight, just put ice cream, melt it, make it into a shake. And you know, you're just, that's what all the big stars do for like their drum rolls. They just like put some ice cream in a microwave, melt it and just drink raw ice cream. And you know, it's like damp phlegm. You can basically just, uh, you know, someone's calling me and I'm doing my video. So I will have to just call them back. But you know, it's good. My phone is on do not disturb. So I means I can actually do a video without being disturbed which is pretty cool. If you don't use Do Not Disturb, I recommend you doing it on your phone. But um, not more than I recommend Gua Sha. Oh my God, it's again, it's right there. Oh, oh, okay, fine. It's very painful doing it yourself. I think when I can, here in the UK, we're hoping to open up from the 12th. Yep, yay! And then I can do treatments, woohoo! I mean, facial treatments, hopefully. Um, but I want to go have some treatments myself. We'll do some treatment swaps with people. I mean, that's always fun. It's just a bit more complicated now with the little, two little people that are wonderful, by the way, but very hard work. Um, whoa. There is such fascia, like, such fascia release going on here. It's quite a sensation all over my body. And it's amazing how many times when I'm doing wash on people, do they actually scream or cry or laugh uncontrollably? It happens really often. People are laughing a lot, don't, don't know why, but I think there's just a lot of emotions stored in our, in our, um, in our body and it's you know releasing a lot of different things like maybe we've suppressed some kind of something we found funny but we're not supposed to laugh or uh, you know we've had to be serious and proper and well behaved but I think I want to misbehave more not misbehave but I want to have fun because actually all this mask wearing anyway here makes people very serious and da, 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 da. And yesterday I took a picture, well they took a picture of me at the gym and I pulled a funny face like something like this, mm, or like eh, or Wah. because you know life's too short and you've got to just enjoy every moment and really try and live in the now, try not to overthink it. I know it's very hard because Especially us in the West, we all like to overplan and think we know everything and think we have control. We really don't. And, you know, we've got to just chill out, sit tight, ride it out. Like, there's not really, you know, try and enjoy the here and now. Oh, my God. Um, it's not showing up quite as much, but I'm telling you, it's feeling really strong. I'm, like, starting to space out, basically. Um... But I think even though it doesn't show a lot of marks, it, it's still doing quite a lot because I feel it so much because this, basically the fascia is so, so tight in my forearms and my arms. Oh my God. It's like I've got goosebumps now. I don't know if you can see that, but I've actually got goosebumps all over my body and it's it's really oh my god it's crazy i'm gonna do a little bit of my neck because my neck i've got a lump right there it's uber painful my hands are really oily and um, so i can just go like this oh my god oh my god this is like so needed why did i not do this earlier 
because as a parent you can forego your own well-being to care for your children's that's just how it goes oh my god maybe can't see maybe can see oh good lord it is so tight there yep it's a stripe my friend and mentor for my Karakan is Yogi. Thank you, Yogi, for all your help and support. He's told me it's contraindicated to do the front of the neck. Um, I have done it in the past, but yeah, apparently it's a no-no. I just wanted to say that. I'm just doing a little bit here because I feel like there's a little bit. Oh, there is a little bit. There is a little bit. There is. I want to one day come to Indonesia and learn how to do Karakan, but the way that they make it with all the amazing like neck patterns, arm patterns, it's almost like a tattoo. It's beautiful. It's like an art. I really want to come, but I don't think it's going to be this year because we are not even allowed to leave the country at the minute. But who knows? Things do change. They will change. And, you know, we may have to get a vaccine to, to leave the country. It may be really tricky. I mean, I don't know. It's here yesterday on the news. They're saying people may even have to get a vaccine passport to go to the shops. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And, you know, I'm not against vaccines. I'm just saying that Possibly we don't know all the effects yet. So I'm just personally waiting to see, you know, what pans out because this Oxford vaccine, they have proved that it's linked to blood clots. So, you know, I'm not a person who's at risk. I think if you're an at-risk person in that group, it does make sense to get the vaccine. Like my parents have gotten the vaccine, my elderly people in my family, my cousin, like a lot of people I know have got, many, many people have gotten the vaccine. However, I just wouldn't personally choose it for my children. It's it's not that there's anything wrong with it, but I just I just don't want my children to be experimented on for some kind of drug. And, and they're not at risk from COVID. So that to me is fundamental. Like I don't, you know, do no harm. Like you, you don't want to give them something that say maybe doesn't really have enough like in the given in the ups and downs have enough we don't we just don't know what effect like the vaccines have on the placenta i i just feel that we've got to keep an open mind and balance it and not go completely nuts because covid is not deadly to the vast majority of people and but certainly I, I do believe if you work in a care home or if you're at a high risk bracket or or you're, I don't know, in the military or there's another reason, you know, a sensible reason. And then I think, yes, it's probably wise to consider it. I just don't personally, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't force it on people. I don't believe that's correct. I think that it's important to allow people to do what they want with their body. I wouldn't force Gua Sha on anyone. <laughs> it's someone's choice so likewise i just feel the same way about vaccines thank you so much for today i really would appreciate it if you like subscribe share and let me know if there's other videos you would like me to do i would love to get involved